Hi, everyone. Anthony Morganti here. You may or may not know that on my website, anthonymorganti.com, I sell both Lightroom presets and Lightroom profiles. And on the pages for those products, I have videos where I demonstrate how to install them. Unfortunately, since Adobe updated Lightroom Classic to version 13.3, a few people have had an issue trying to install them using the method that I demonstrate in these videos. The interesting thing, though, is not everyone is encountering this issue. As a matter of fact, only three people so far have emailed me with the problem. Two people have had a problem trying to install the profiles, and one person has had an issue so far trying to install the presets. So this issue won't affect everyone. So if you do purchase some third-party presets um, off the internet or from someone and you have them on your computer, first try to install them the way I demonstrate in these videos because that's the easiest way to install them. If you are having a problem though trying to install them, you're going to have to use this method that I'm going to be showing you in this video. Now what you need to do is download them from whoever you bought them for. Now, most likely they're going to be in a zipped package because that's the easiest way for us to sell them and offer them to you so that when you download them, they're all in one zipped container. Now, some browsers, if they that browser deems that zip file to be a safe file, will automatically unzip it for you. If that's the case, great. You don't have to do anything. If on the other hand, they're still zipped when you download them, you're going to have to unzip them first. To do that, just double click right on them. So I double click on the presets and I double click on the profiles. And now you'll see that I have two folders now, one folder of profiles. And if I open it up, you can see there's four folders of profiles. And inside each of those folders are all the profiles. And I have a folder of all the presets. And inside of those folders are folders and they contain all the presets. So that's fine. Now we have the unzipped folders. Now what you need to do is open up Lightroom Classic and you need to go to Preferences. On a Mac, Preferences is under the Lightroom Classic menu. On a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Now go to Preferences, then go to the second tab from the left, the Presets tab. Then you'll notice toward the bottom, there's a couple buttons. One is uh, on the left is Show Lightroom Develop Presets. You may think that is the button you need to press. It isn't. The one next to it is show all other Lightroom presets. Click on that button. And when you do, a finder will, window will open up if you have a Mac. If you have a PC, a Windows File Explorer window opens up. Once that window opens up, what you're going to want to do, it's going to open to a specific folder and you're going to be on a Lightroom folder. Don't worry about that and ignore that. What you want to do is find the folder called Camera Raw. It's right here. Open that folder. Inside of the Camera Raw folder, find a folder called Imported Settings right here. Open that up. That's where we're going to put these presets and profiles. Now, once you have your Finder window or your Windows File Explorer window opened up to this folder, just put it aside for a moment. And then close down Preferences in Lightroom. And you could leave Lightroom open, but I say to close it down because for the presets to appear in Lightroom, you need to close and reopen Lightroom anyway. So we're going to close down Lightroom right now. And we still have, in my case, because I have a Mac, I have my Finder window open. Now all you need to do is drag both folders into this folder. So the presets and profiles are now in this imported settings folder, which is inside the Camera Raw folder. All right, so they're there. Now, if you didn't already close Lightroom Classic down, close it down, then reopen it like I'm going to do now. And when I reopen it, you'll see that the presets and profiles are installed in Lightroom Classic. So it's going to take a second to open. And over in the left-hand panel, when you're in the develop module, you see the presets at the top. And here's all of my presets. They got installed fine. If I go to the profile browser, See right in the middle are all the profiles. They got installed fine as well. So 
everything got installed and that's the way you do it. Now, if you use the cloud version of Lightroom and you have an issue trying to install them, which I'm not sure if you will, uh, install them in Lightroom Classic like I just did. And what will happen is the presets and profiles will sync with the cloud and eventually they'll show up in the cloud version of Lightroom. So that's kind of the sideways way to get them in the cloud version of Lightroom, install them in Lightroom Classic like I just did, and they'll show up eventually in the cloud version of Lightroom. And if you use the mobile version of Lightroom as well, like on your phone or on your iPad, they'll show up there eventually as well too. As well too? That doesn't make sense. But hopefully this helps you get them installed. And as I mentioned, this doesn't affect everyone. So just don't automatically assume that if you purchase someone's presets, that they're not going to install and you're going to have to do this method that I just showed you. You could use the conventional method, click on the little plus sign for the presets, go to import presets, navigate to where the zip file is, because you could install them right from the zip file. Lightroom will unzip the zip file automatically and install them that way. And if you have profiles, you go to the profile browser, click on the little plus sign, click import profiles, go to the profiles, and they should install fine that way. Try that way first because it's a lot easier. And if it doesn't work, then use this method. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.